This is an image encryption algorithm. This article is about a novel image encryption algorithm using the instruments of chaotic systems, 15 present problem, and DNA computing. This is the abstract of the article. The underlying idea of this research article is to scramble and diffuse the pixels of the given image. First of all, RGB image was input, then to scramble the images, 15 puzzle artificial intelligence problem was applied over the components of the color image. Apart from that, block level permutation was applied to further diffuse the image. Moreover, pixel level permutation was applied to further randomize the image pixels. To improve the security effects, DNA encoding was introduced in this research endeavor to realize the effects of plain text sensitivity, SHA-256 hash, hash function of the given color image was applied. Lastly, computer simulation and the exhaustive security analysis suggested the robustness from the crypt anal analytic attacks a defiance from the statistical attacks and a potential for the real world application of the email cipher. Uh, this is the introduction. Actually, images are very important. We deal these images in our daily life. We frequently store them on our gadgets and we frequently transmit them through some open channel like the internet. So they are under the constant threat from the potential crypt analysis savvy. Hence, security measures are required for their storage as well as their transmission from the one component of the internet to the another component. Traditionally, RSA, DES, and AES ciphers have been applied for this purpose, that bus, but unfortunately, they were developed for encrypting the text data. In sharp contrast to that, our images have radically different characteristics like bulky volume, strong interpixel bonding, and high redundancy. So, an entirely different scheme of things is required to address this problem. Fortunately, Chaotic maps have proved very handy for this purpose. They give us the random data which are used in the confusion and diffusion operations. These are, these are the two principal operations. Chaotic map have very excellent properties of pseudo randomness, unpredictability, high sensitivity to the initial conditions and system parameters, large key space mixing and ergodicity. So tens of hundreds of image encryption schemes have been developed by using the random data given by the chaotic maps. As described earlier, this scheme will use the DN encoding rules. These are the eight DN encoding rules. Apart from that, this table represents the exclusive R operation between the DNA strands or nucleotides. 
these are the basic theories upon which our study rests dna encoding then chaotic maps we have described these chaotic maps okay we have used two chaotic maps intertwining logistic map and chaotic tent map intertwining logistic map gives us the three stream of random numbers where are whereas chaotic tent map gives us a single stream of random numbers then 15 puzzle and heuristics we have used the 15 puzzle problem as described earlier Uh, the this is the 15 puzzle we are given the four cross four matrix and 15 numbers have been filled and only one number is left and we slide this empty slide and we as we slide this empty slide numbers move and the ideal condition is that when all the 15 numbers are arranged in the ascending order. This is the BLP based encryption scheme. As you can see, the task kick starts from here color plane image P. We have splitted the three channels of red green and blue into their constituent constituent components apart from that we have used the sha 256 hash function this is the secret key these are plugged to the initial values and these initial values are fed to the intertwining logistic map which is sparked to give the three streams of random numbers. One stream is being used for the block level permutation. Second stream is being used for the DNA encoding. And the third stream is being used for the DNA encoding. Apart from that, DNA mass image is also being used. This is the chaotic tent map, which is facilitating in the pixel level permutation, DNA encoding, DNA level diffusion, and this is the DNA decoding. Lastly, we split and combine the grayscale images to get our final color cipher image C. This is the de description of our encryption scheme as you can see these are the initial values update initial value function by using the heuristic values it selects the next tile and this is the heuristic evaluation function here from here simulation results we give the simulation these are the initial values for our intertwining logistic map here we can see this is the initial color image we have decomposed this image into the three components of red, green, and blue. Here, block level permutation has been applied. Here, pixel level permutation has been applied. Here, DNA encoding has been applied. And here, we have merged these three images. And lastly, we got the decrypted image, as we can see from here. Here we are going to do the security analysis through some validation matrix. This is the key space analysis. As we can see, the key space of the proposed algorithm is 10 raised to the power 108, whereas 
these are the key spaces of different studies which we have chosen from the public works as we can see our key space beats all these four key spaces hence we can say that the proposed algorithm is better this is the key sensitivity its underlying idea is that a very small change in the key of the cipher should end up with a gigantic change in the output here this has been applied this is our original lina image this is the image obtained by our normal key this is the image obtained by introducing a very small change this is the difference image between b and c image e is the decryption image of the cipher image b image f is an is a failed attempt to decrypt the image because we have chosen the wrong key image g is the successful attempt of the decryption image of the cipher image given in c in the same fashion image h is the wrong attempt this is the table for the uh, rates of difference obtained by slightly different keys here we are carrying out the statistical analysis here we can see these are the histograms of three channels of the plane image and these are the histograms of the three channel of the cipher image these are the variance results using the different keys variance gives us as the name implies the variance of the histogram low level low result of the variance is always better for the skewed image ciphers we can see 255.9408 is the average variance value whereas 48000 comes about the variance value of the plane images in the same way in statistical analysis correlation analysis is also carried out this is our correlation correlation of the plane image and correlation of the encrypted image we can see for plane image the correlation value is equal to is nearly equal to 1 whereas for encrypted images this value has dropped steeply and we got the results approximately equal to 0 so the proposed image cipher is better here we have carried out a comparison our results are comparable then here is the information entropy analysis entropy refers to the disorder of the given data this is the formula for the entropy maximum value of entropy comes out to be 8 here we can see our values are very close to the ideal value of 8 and this is the data from the literature review as we can see our values are again comparable differential attack is yet an another attack used by the hackers and adversaries here two validation metrics are analyzed npcr number of pixel change rate and unified average changing intensity again we can see 
the average value is very ne nearly equal to the 100. So we can see the proposed encryption scheme is secured. These are the formulae of NPCR and USCI. Here we have drawn a comparison. Then we discuss a yet another validation metric called peak signal to noise ratio analysis. This is the PSNR MSC. Here we can see the PSNR of the given linear image is 7.7840, whereas reference 69, 70, and 71 give their PSNR values. As we can see, our results are competitive, our results are better because this is the smaller. This is the mean absolute error. Here we can see our results, uh, the average results are 81.2584, whereas the results given in the reference 71 is this. Again, we can say that our results are better. Noise and data crop attacks. Here we can see the, these are the data crop and these are the output images. Again, we can see that the majority of the visual information is discernible. Here, the, here is the noise. We have artificially added pepper and salt noises with different intensities and here we have decrypted them. Again, we can see that our images have been successfully decrypted. Lastly, we have done the complexity analysis. We have resorted to the empirical analysis. This is the MBPS of the proposed algorithm and these are the MBPS of the published works. Again, we can see that the proposed algorithm is competitive or better. Uh, this is the conclusion. In conclusion, we can say that we have given a novel image encryption cipher using the instruments of chaotic systems, 15 puzzle artificial intelligence problem and DNA technology. We made a comprehensive security analysis and in majority of the cases, the results of the proposed algorithm are competitive. Under these circumstances, we are justified in saying that the proposed algorithm is immune to the attacks of the hackers and adversaries. So, uh, apart from that, this has the ample chances of getting used in industry and the real world application. Thank you very much.